Good morning, West Side. May I be the first one to welcome you out to this beautiful December morning. Got a little bit of rain going out out there, but we're going to have a good worship in here this morning. Uh, for today, for Advent, we're going to be lighting the candles, or the candle of the angel. It reminds us of the hope fulfilled in the first coming of our Savior, and reminds us of the coming hope as we anticipate his second coming. In Isaiah 7:14, it reads, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, or God with us. And in Matthew 24, 30, verse 30, Matthew 24, verses 30 through 31, it says, Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So today, as we start our worship this morning, our opening hymn this morning is 184. If you would stand, we will sing all three verses of Angels We Have Heard on High.
Well, good morning to each and every one of you. God bless you. Thank you for being in the Lord's house on this Lord's Day uh, here at Christmas time. Just a week to count down here, but I'm so thankful for all of you today. If you are a first-time guest or you've never connected with us, there's a couple of ways you can do that. There's a little tear-off section in your bulletin. You can drop that in the offering plate as it goes by. Or you can also just text the word WELCOME to 859-986-3444. Either one you can do. Uh, remind you, no children's church uh, throughout the rest of this month or today. And the kids will be up here for the cantata. We're thankful that you're here to celebrate in the Christmas cantata. I'm so thankful for Miss Brenda and our choir for working on this hard and diligently for months. Now, I do want to remind you of our Lottie Moon World Missions Christmas offering going on. You have mission uh, envelopes in your pews, and you can drop that in the offering plate, or you can put that in the little white church out in the foyer. Either way is fine. Our goal is 3,000. We're about at 1,700 now, and so I encourage you to give to that so we can continue to keep missionaries on the field and also put new missionaries that are in waiting around the world to share the gospel of Jesus Christ as well. So pray about what you might give to the Lottie Moon World Mission Christmas offering. You'll see in your bulletin, and I will not uh, insult your intelligence by reading through it, but I do encourage you to look in your bulletin. There's a letter from uh, myself, kind of the end of the year and ready for new year, and I hope you'll take a moment and read that. And then also in your bulletin, we see uh, things coming up uh, in January, so be praying about these things and be a part of these things in all. And uh, be involved here at Westside Baptist Church. We are thankful again for each and every one of you. Thankful again and be praying for Miss Brendan and the choir as they prepare to bless the Lord uh, and then also bless us in return by doing so. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank Thee for another day that You have given us, Lord, to assemble in this place uh, that we know is Westside and, Lord, to worship You to truly celebrate the, the joy and the true meaning of Christmas, salvation found in you alone. God, this is a joyous time of year. It can also be a hard and difficult time of year. There are those who have lost loved ones throughout this year, those who are dealing with sick loved ones. And, oh God, I pray that you would minister into their needs through the Holy Spirit and grant unto them a peace that goes beyond our comprehension, a peace that comes from heaven, from the Holy Spirit. Continue to strengthen each one of those, Heavenly Father. For those in our midst that are dealing with sickness themselves, we pray, O oh God, that you would bring healing to their body and restore them into our fold. God, as we go move forward in this service, we pray that you are uh, worshipped, that you are honored and glorified in all things, and that the message of the gospel will shine forth clearly for us to celebrate in and for people that might not be Christians to hear and Lord, I pray for the movement of the Holy Spirit in each heart here today, whether it be joy for all those who know you or salvation for those who don't. Work in our midst. Be free to move among us today. We pray for Miss Brenda and our choir that you would strengthen them of mind and body and, and voice as well. And Lord, may their cantata be a sweet-smelling sacrifice into the throne of grace in heaven. Lord, we love you and we thank you and we thank you that you came to us, an innocent uh, baby, God in the flesh, born of a virgin. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue on in our worship today, passage from Luke 2.10 says, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. So, for our offertory hymn today, if you would please stand as we continue in our worship. It will be 181. We'll sing all four verses of Joy to the World. The Lord has come.
pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day you've given us as we come to your house this morning to worship you and as we uh, prepare for this cantata, Lord, I pray that uh, we lift each one here up and may we be reminded of the reason for the season, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your precious son, Jesus Christ, and as we take this offering, Lord, we, uh, we want to lift it up for furtherance of your kingdom. And we ask, Lord, you continue to lead God and direct us in all things that we do. For it's in Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. <clears throat> What a wonderful story we have to share at Christmas. 
It begins with the people waiting for a promised son. It focuses on a young couple engaged to be married. It features a choir of angels, a band of shepherds, and a baby sleeping on a manger filled with hay. There's a new star in the sky, kings from a distant land, and precious treasures. This is what we celebrate, the reason we sing. Glory, glory to God in the highest. One of the most familiar carols of this season is a song of French origin that is centuries old. Its verses retell the entire Christmas story, and they encourage us to give thanks to God for the incredible gift of his son to be our savior. The word Noel means Christmas, but it is also like singing happy birthday. And what better way could there be to welcome our Lord than to join in singing a birthday song that celebrates his coming to earth.
first Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. For all to see, there was a star shining in the east, beyond them far, and to the earth it gave great light, and so it comes. Continued both day and night. No. Star, the wise men came from country far to seek for a king. Was their intent, and to follow the star wherever. circumstances, the events surrounding the birth of Jesus would be dramatic. Mary and Joseph had already faced suspicion and scorn and danger. They had traveled far from home, and then Mary had to deliver her son in a stable. Yet this story is so much more. The baby was Emmanuel, God with us. He was the long-awaited Messiah. He was the Lamb of God, born to carry our sins. 
to the cross. host filled the sky near Bethlehem with praise as they announced the Savior's arrival. Like those angels, we can't help but begin lifting our own joyful songs to honor him. We proclaim that he is God, he is King, and he is welcome in our hearts.
Hail, hail to the newborn King. Let our voices sing Him our praises. Hail, hail to the guiding light. laid in the manger that first Christmas night would grow up as a son of a poor carpenter. He would reach manhood and begin a public ministry that would find him going to the poor and the outcast, healing the sick, raising the dead, and demonstrating his power over the natural world. He would teach the people about God's love and show them by example what true greatness meant. His mission wouldn't be completed until it took him to a cross, a grave, and a resurrection. And even then, his story would not be finished.
light of a new day. No one knew he had arrived. Things continued as they had been while a newborn softly cried. But the heavens wrapped in wonder knew the meaning of his birth in the weakness they knew God had come to earth as his mother Held him closely, it was hard to understand that her baby, not yet speaking, was the word of God to man. me if you will. Dear Savior, we thank you for coming to earth so long ago. We thank you for the humble way you arrived and the news that was given that night, first to shepherds, then to wise men, then to all of us who would come after. We're reminded that the angel said, a Savior has been born for you. You are Messiah the Lord. Oh, what a gift you were. And what a precious gift it has always been to make you the center of everything we need, everything we know, everything that life is about. And so, Lord, we're mindful today that there might be some here who have not found the joy of salvation that only you can give unto them. And we pray that this will be the moment that they might whisper or boldly proclaim, Jesus, be the center of my life today. Come into my heart and be Lord and Savior. We're also mindful that there may be others who have forgotten what it was like when they first 
knew your tender love and mercy and they responded to it so readily. We pray that this will be the moment that they reach out to you and say, Jesus, once again, be the center of everything I am. Let us never come to Christmas without being intimately aware that you are the reason, the heart, and the center of it all. We love you, we worship you, and we give ourselves to you anew, saying, Jesus, you are the center of our joy. We ask these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ, and amen. At this moment, I'm just going to ask you to really think about the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ that you've heard today. The choir is going to sing. I'll be down front. It is a time where if you need prayer or you need to come to Christ and receive him as your Lord and Savior, or maybe you've been a longtime child of God, but uh, there's some things in your life that aren't right and you need to repent of and maybe just come back to the joy of not only Christmas, but the joy of the Christian life that is known through following Jesus Christ. This is a time for you to do that. I'll be down front to pray with you, or if you'd like to come and kneel at the altar and spend a moment in quiet reflection and prayer, you are welcome to do that. If you will, I'll just ask that uh, you bow your heads and close your eyes as the choir sings this song. And if you need to step out, just gently tap the person beside you. They won't mind a bit. They will love to make room for you to come down and spend a moment in prayer. Let's bow as the choir sings. In our minds, the manger has become forever identified with Emmanuel's coming. It's almost as if the spotlight of history shines on it, so we can't ignore it or forget that at the very heart of Christmas, there is only this, Jesus, God's only begotten Son, was born for our salvation. Jesus at the center of it. 
prophecies about the one that God would send to redeem us. And every one of them was fulfilled in the birth, life, death, and resurrection of that little baby born on that holy night. Our Savior has come, and this is why we are filled with hope and joy. Brenda, thank you so much. Amen.
overwhelmed. Amen. I, I just thank God for this, this group of people. Amen. Uh, and uh, the talents they had from making our CDs to, to the sound technicians to Jennifer Bergen uh, and Wendell. Wendell had a part in the Angels and, and, uh, and Jennifer Bergen. Jennifer Bergen did all the artist work mm -hmm. on it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I just want to thank you all. I, I mean, we I have been blessed more than anybody, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Miranda. Choir. Thank you, Brenda and Choir, for being faithful each week to sing in our services, and especially this time of year. You know, if you'd like to join the choir, you have openings, don't you? Yeah. Well, after we sit now, we won't be having practice for the rest of the year. Month, month. Yeah, or month. Yeah, month. Uh, but, yeah, we do encourage you to come out. And if you have a voice and you want to sing, we'll have a place for you. Amen. Uh, because uh, this choir, uh, during COVID, this choir stayed together. And we met when we could. And uh, I talked to some other churches, and their choirs are gone yeah. because they, they couldn't yeah, get tough. people back together after COVID. So uh, I'm just so thankful to God. He is so good to us and blesses us in so many ways. Amen. Uh, it's, it's hard to express yeah, it. It is, yes. <laughs> Amen. You've done wonderfully. Thank you all. And again, Jonah, how old are you? 15. 15? So... If you're young, come sing. Yeah, Jack, how old are you? 91. 91. <laughs> so come join the choir. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just uh, quickly remind you that tonight we have another great performance to look forward to. And I pray, I really do, I encourage you, come out and support the youth and the kids as they put on the play that they've also been working on for many weeks called No Vacancy. It's at 5.30 tonight. Please come back. Please make a special point to support them and uh, enjoy again the Christmas message in this unique way. And uh, they'll be working. They'll be here all afternoon getting ready. So you be back tonight at 5.30. And plus there's refreshments afterwards. And all of God's children said... Amen for that. Yeah, we'll have cake and other uh, refreshments, and so come and, and stay for that as well. May the Lord bless you. I want to remind you, Christmas Eve is next Sunday. We are having services. Uh, I know some of you will be traveling. If you're not traveling, make a special attempt to come and worship the Lord. We are having Sunday school at 10 for those who are able, and then our morning worship is at 11. We'll be reading the Christmas story, having a lengthy uh, Christmas hymn singing together, worshiping together, and I'll be bringing a, a shorter message prayerfully. Uh, you pray for me. Amen. I've got shorter notes anyway, so let's see how it ends up. So, uh, uh, and then we'll have a couple specials, and uh, so it's going to be a great time, so I pray. And we'll also be lighting the candles at the end as we end our Christmas Eve service. Merry Christmas. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being a part of Westside. Jason, I believe you have our benediction. If you will come at this time, Jason Mays, and uh, close us in prayer. Can we have a microphone? Also, for I want to see what the children's uh, what they need, they need any of this sit. Let me know. Okay. Jason. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you've done for us. We thank you for this wonderful time that we've been able to, to praise you and praise your name, Father, and just uh, so thankful for Jesus and him coming in uh, such a humble way, Father, and we can celebrate that and just understand uh, what opportunities we have, the hope that, that that wonderful birth gave us, Father, that we may uh, look boldly into the future and uh, not worry about it, knowing that you're already there, Father. Father, we thank you for each one that came out. We pray for anybody that did make a decision, Father, that uh, you give them another opportunity, Father, and just to uh, show them some grace as you've shown the rest of us grace, as you always have. Father, forgive us where we fail. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.